Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our Pharonix Deploy Cloud Info session. By the way, I am Hani Samson, but you can call me Sam, and I am the Channel Specialist of IT Systems, Inc., and of course, your host for today's webinar. Also, joining us are my colleagues from IP Systems and some of the experts from the leading brand that helps you simplify, manage, and secure multi-user computing environment, Pharonix. We deeply appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. So our info session today will focus on one thing that has been a struggle for every organization in today's new normal, remote access and management of workstations for your IT and security teams. And as your value-added cybersecurity partner, along with Pharonix, we will delve deep into the newest features of Pharonix Cloud Deploy and how easy it is for you to do patch management, software deployment, and more. And since we are now embracing a new remote work model, we know that you need a solution that empowers you to do a lightning fast deployment and installations of applications, operating systems, and Windows updates in the comfort of your own home office. Not only that, but we also know that you need a program that enables you to do all of it securely, right? So to start off, I'd like to introduce Mr. Josh Logro, IP Systems General Manager, to tell you more about who we are and what we can do for your organization. Sir Josh? Hi, Sam. Thank you so much for the great introduction. Guys, uh, kikita na bang screen ko? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks so yes, sir. much. Yes, sir, Josh. Yeah. I saw the uh, attendees, so parang pamilya sa akin lahat. So, guys, thank you so much for the time. Okay? Okay, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, my name is Josh, and I'm the General Manager of IP Systems, Inc. My goal with this short presentation is to give you a better idea of who we are as a company and how we differentiate ourselves in the local IT industry. I will also briefly discuss our product portfolio, the different cybersecurity brands that we carry. We hope our solution can help you with, to achieve your own cybersecurity goals in your respective companies, uh, lalo na sa pagko-comply with the DPA and of course, in preparation for the DICT 2022 cybersecurity plan. IP Systems Inc. is a value-added distributor of cybersecurity solutions. We have been in business for 14 years, having been incorporated in 2006 and starting operation in January 2007. Our headquarters is in Ortiga Center, Pasig City. We have a branch office in Mandaluyong City and good news, we have a upcoming plans of opening a provincial branch in besides Mindanao area by 2022. We are very proud that, uh, of the fact that we are 100% Filipino owned. Before I proceed on the product portfolio, we have, uh, I want you to meet my team, our team, IP System Inc. As mentioned, I am the currently the general manager of the company, and I have been with the company since 2008. Our managing director is Ms. Patricia Sellis, has likewise been with the company for a good year since 2007. We also have Ms. Marilu Ibangilista, who heads up our sales team. She has been with the company since 2007. Heading our solution group is Mr. Junel Valde, who has been in, with the IP system for seven years now. And finally, heading our support and service team is Mr. Joseph Carrillo, who always has been with the company for nine years since 2012. As you can see, our management team is a comprise of people who have been with the company for the extended period of time. And these are people who have a deep knowledge on the business and industry that we are in. Our vision as a company, uh, we envision IP systems to be a thought leader in the Philippine market on a cybersecurity and to be a positive enabler of change in the IT community. We have a strong belief that being in the IT field, we have a platform we can use to make a good and positive changes in our local community. And we do this by sharing our knowledge and our expertise. If you look at our Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter accounts, you will see that how active we are uh, in social media and how we aim to educate not only clients, but Filipinos in general about the importance of 
internet security, and cybersecurity. Our mission uh, is IP Systems, a mission-centered company. In fact, we've made it in our mission to secure 1,000 small businesses and mid-market enterprises by 2025. We do this by keeping networks, data infrastructure, and Filipino people safe from cyber threats and vulnerabilities while adhering to our core values. Coincidentally, our mission statement ties up very closely with the National Cybersecurity Plan 2022. This is a strategic framework that was created and will be adapted by the Department of Information and Communication Technology, the ICT, in cooperation with the CICC. In summary, the National Cybersecurity Plan 2022 is meant to address the urgency to protect the nation's critical infrastructure, government networks, small medium enterprises to large corporations, and every Filipino people using the internet. And of course, to encourage our kababayan to know more the cybersecurity awareness. So I, wa I want to highlight uh, one of the plan of DCSP uh, 2022. It says, part of the plan is key strategic initiative is the protection of individuals. It's a big word. So it means uh, protecting being defined here is not only the physical environment, but also the cyber environment on an individual level. Aside from being closely related to our mission statement, we believe that such an initiative is speci specifically uh, important during this time of pandemic, where everyone is connected with each other. Like I said, Kanina, our vision is actively to help to educate our partners and customers and also our Kababayan about the beauty of the cybersecurity awareness. Speaking of customers, again, we've been in the industry for over 14 years, and now uh, here's just some example of, of our valued clients throughout the years. As you can see, we have clients from the government to some of the country's largest educational institutions, such as Ateneo and USD. Actually, these two uh, schools using our deepest enterprise. We have clients in the hospitality and manufacturing industry. We have customers in the food and beverages vertical, as well as the BPOs and companies offering outsourced services. We have customers in the healthcare vertical, as well as the logistic and finance, among the others. Our product portfolio, in compliance with the RA10173 Data Privacy Act 2012, uh, as an IT distributor of cybersecurity brands, we actively study the Data Privacy Act so that we can help our clients to comply with the DPA security requirements. IP Systems, the Philippine distributor of award-winning and trusted cybersecurity brands in the field of backup, disaster recovery, remote access, vulnerability assessment and penetration testing, and of course, uh, cybersecurity training and certification. Solution in compliance with data, DPA 2012, as mentioned, we have aligned most of the brands that we have partnered with the primary technical security requirements of the DPA. Uh, number one is this include the ability to have access to the data backup in case of physical or technical incident. Our solution for this is AIP or Active Image Protector. Our solution can restore any terasize of files in a split seconds. We can restore the system or the operating system within three to five minutes which is designed for business continu continuity plan. And of course, we have disaster recovery plan, which is, this is free for the, our solution, for the license of the AIP. And number two, we have process for vulnerability assessment and regular testing. Our recommended solution is checkpoint penetrator. It can show the vulnerabilities of all IT assets, help us to mitigate our security. And of course, it can, it, it, it can test the security of our IT infrastructure. Then number three is encryption. We have Bitdefender full disk encryption add-on that can protect the user's PC if they have a sensitive data or information. And we have RDX external disk encryption are able to protect all files stored in the, uh, the storage, or you can drag any files in the storage is already encrypted. And for the access control, we have ENAC or ESINAC, Network Access Control. It's an agentless solution that can manage the, the and manage and monitor the existing and new devices connected in our network. We also have WinSelect, 
For those who don't have an active directory, WinSelect is also uh, the product of Paronix. It's a perfect user access management sol solution. It helps us to manage and create a restriction for all users inside of our local network. And of course, uh, our malware protection, Bitdefender Endpoint Security Ultra, that can protect and oversee all malware activities in our network. And it will help also uh, for the Bitdefender patch management we can update our endpoints to latest virus definition and security patches. And of course, our last but not the least, our main topic is a Paronix deploy can securely patch, update, manage remotely our endpoints that suited in our compliance. My colleague Paronix team will explain this more after my presentation. At IP Systems, we believe in doing business responsibly. With this presentation, I hope uh, you were able to get to know us better as a company, not only as an IT distributor, but as a cybersecurity company with a vision and mission to contribute to our collective future as a Filipino people. Please follow us in Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn uh, to read up the latest activities, events, and news about our uh, different brands and solution. You can also reach us via email at sales at ipsystem.ph or support at ipsystem.ph for any related inquiries. That is the end of my presentation. Stay safe, work safe, at maraming salamat po. All right. Thank you, Sir Josh, for that in-depth presentation of our solution and services. And guys, as he mentioned, we carry some of the world's leading brands in cybersecurity and data protection and management. Not to mention that we are also a 100% Filipino-owned company. Now, let's go straight to our next presenter. Here to tell us more about Pharaonix Cloud Deploy, its features and new functionalities, and why it's the perfect application for your remote IT or security team, here is Mr. Usman Shaik, Pharaonix Senior Technical Engineer, and Ms. Esther Law, Pharaonix Channel Account Manager. And remember, guys, ha, if you have questions, we would be more than happy to answer them after the presentation. You can type your questions here in the chat box, okay? Thank you! Hi everyone, um, my name is Esther. Um, I'm a channel account manager from Pharaonix based in Singapore. I'm looking after licensing and sales from Southeast Asia, Japan, Australia, and New Zealand. Together with me today is our senior technical engineer, Usman, who is based in the UK. Usman will be the presenter today to share with you how we can assist in endpoint management. Usman, your show time. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. Very good afternoon to all of you. So as Esther mentioned, the uh, what I would like to do is go over a, a product suite, uh, showcase how our products can help you in your environment. Before we get started, a quick overview about our company. So Ferronix, we've been in the market uh, since 1996. Uh, we are primarily a Canadian company uh, with headquarters in Vancouver, British Columbia. Our defreeze product that you may know us for is patented. We've got three patents around the defreeze product. Uh, we've got more than 100, uh, 10 million licenses deployed with the presence in 150 countries and 30,000 plus unique customers. Here are a few of our customers who are using our products. And we are based in Singapore, Bracknell, England, Vancouver, Canada, and Pleasanton, United States. So you have support and access to our team during different time zones and different regions. Now, talking about the product today, uh, I would like to highlight uh, you know, the, the, the wide range of products that we offer, right from a cloud-based solution to on-premise solutions that include our defreeze product, which is the reboot to restore product. And in ad addition to defreeze, everything that we have like asset management, OS deployment, software management, layered security, remote control. There's a lot that we offer under a cloud suite. And the idea today is to showcase how you can use our defreeze cloud product or our defreeze cloud deploy product, which both of these products are under our Ferronix cloud umbrella, and how you can use these products to manage your environment. The key features of the product that I would like to showcase today uh, invo uh, include a web-based console, so you can manage your endpoints, 
uh, your devices from any location. It's, it's completely pure cloud-based. It's got software and patch management capabilities as well. So if you need to do software installation, if you need to do uh, administration or uh, updates to any application, you can do that. It has patch management feature where you can make sure your Windows updates are fully installed. They are uh, up to date. There's no computer which is in a vulnerable state or uh, you know they need pending Windows updates. Then we have security management, which includes an antivirus solution, firewall, and configurations to tighten your security. There's asset management involved as well, so you can keep a track of all your IT assets, uh, where, uh, you know, what's the hardware spec for the assets, when the warranty is expiring, how many licenses are deployed. It's quite an in like intensive solution that involves all these different components. And then we also have ticket management where your employees or your users can submit tickets from their console. Now, Overall, these are the key features of the product. Uh, we will show you the actual web console, how you can get started and how you can deploy uh, the product as well. Uh, but as uh, we proceed, if you have any technical questions, uh, you can use the chat uh, window. We will be happy to answer them for you uh, after our presentation. So with that being said, I'm going to move to the web console. So just give me a moment. All right, so here I am. Uh, on a web browser, the URL is veronixdeploy.com. And I'm going to sign in with my account. Just give me a moment. OK, so as soon as I sign in, I'm presented with this screen. And what I see here is the key components of the product that we offer. It starts with dashboard, applications, Windows updates, and so on. Now, this is the main page of the product where you clearly see a summary of how everything is working in your environment, what options you have, and you know what is the status. However, in order to get started with the product, the first step is to download the agent. So you're right on top, you see an option to download the agent. So step number one is to sign up for a trial or sign up for a paid account on pheronixdeploy.com. Once you've signed up, to, uh, install the agent on your workstations. There are four different ways you can install the agent. You can just download and run the agent. You can get a URL to remotely install it at a remote location. Uh, we also have a deployment utility, so you can scan your network and push the agent. And we also have an MSI installer if you wish to deploy through Active Directory. As soon as you install the agent, all these widgets and dashboards, they start to populate. They give you what sort of environment you have, how many Windows 10 computers you have, how many computers are offline, how many computers need attention with apps or pending Windows updates. And as you scroll, as you scroll through this dashboard, you can clearly see a lot of information, like how many computers really need attention with Windows updates, uh, what is the policy status, which patches are missing. You can see individual patch details. And it's quite intensive information. I mean, as an administrator, if you just look at this page, uh, you you know you'll have a clear idea of your environment uh, of how things are working, what's the hardware status, what is the disk utilization, all the information is here, including the security details. So this is the dashboard of the product. Now, as I said, the product is divided into uh, six key features, which uh, number one is software deployment and software management. So it's under our applications module. So as soon as you click on the applications module, it populates the computers on which you have installed the agent. So you see a computer name, you see the policy that's associated with the computer, the group, and so on. Now on the right, as you scroll, you will see some uh, things like two outdated, one installed, some fields empty. So what this does is basically, as soon as you install, we scan your computer and as a company, what we've done is we've, we, we've created around 100 prepackaged applications. So we scan your computer to identify out of those commonly used 100 applications, how many applications are up to date, how many applications are outdated or not installed. So for example, I click on uh, utilities section here. When I click on it, I can see on this Intel computer, 
I I don't have these common apps installed, but I have Ultra VNC installed, and this is version 1.3.20. If I go back, I can uh, look for all these categories. So I can go into web browser. I can see, okay, on which computer Google Chrome is installed on this computer because it's populated. On this computer is installed, but it is outdated. And on this computer, it failed. So as an administrator, I have clear idea of how everything is working and I can install it. If I want to install Opera, I click on the field, I can install it. If I want to install Opera on all computers, I just click on install all and all the managed computers it will install. So it's so flexible and it's so modern, the UI that you would see here, you know, with these grids and these uh, responsive uh, interface, you know, it's just, kind of addictive. Once you start using the product, you'll you'll be so uh, used to it and uh, it'll literally solve all your problems. And when we compare ourselves with the competition in the market, you know, people would say, oh, this is something we can do with SCCM already. We have a Microsoft infrastructure or we have a, a third party product that can do this. But the key features of a product, number one key feature is uh, the unification of the uh, different modules. Like under one umbrella, we give you application management, we give you Windows update management, OS deployment, antivirus, inventory, ticket management, and analytics. Uh, you can also remote control computers from any location. So now if I have this computer here, and if I want to remote control a machine, uh, I mean this particular machine, and if I am in the UK and if this is Esther's computer, for example, or Josh's computer in the Philippines, and if I want to come help Josh with something, you know, on a technical side, I can click on Remote Connect and I can RDP or VNC. So I don't need any third-party product. I don't need to pay for another application or another subscription. All of these features, they're part of our single offering. In addition to the uh, software updates and deployment, if I need to deploy any custom app, I can do that as well. All I have to do is give a name to the package, select the architecture, the uh, uh, location for the installer. Uh, and if it's an MSI, I just click next. We automatically pre-populate the silent switches. If it's an EXE, you have to define the switch and you can run it. Similarly, if I want to run a custom script, I can do that. I can just create a custom script and I can run a custom script on the workstation from anywhere. It also includes uh, configurations and app presets. So if I basically want to install multiple applications on one computer, like a collection of apps or, or you know, a, a preset, I can just build my app presets. I can give it a different name. So I can say it's, this is for staff PCs, this is for student PCs, or this is for you know corporate devices or accounting devices. And then all the apps that I select will get installed automatically on the machine. Same similar functionality under configurations. If I want to remotely add a firewall rule uh, or I want to make any changes to a registry or control the service, I can do that. So basically I can have, uh, if I click this uh, remotely managed service, I can give the name of the service. I can say what should be the status, what should be the startup type, and then uh, that action will be applied on the service. So I can build these you know, presets or uh, collections, and then I can apply it to different computers or different group of computers, and they will perform uh, based on what I've configured. And this is just one of the feature. I mean, as I said, like the product's got six key modules, and application management is just one of them. If I move to Windows updates now, you will see uh, similar grid view, but the information that would be populated would be for Windows updates. So you can see again the computer name uh, in the first column. And as I scroll to the right, I can see the status of Windows updates. I can see if they're in a vulnerable state, uh, how many updates are pending, uh, which updates are installed. And again, this is all clickable and drillable. So if I click on security updates, I can see all the security updates. I can see on how many computers it is pending, or how many computers it has installed, if it requires a restart, if it's been approved or not approved, and if I want to deny it, I can do that. And here I can see almost every category. So I can see the feature packs, I can see the uh, you know update rollups, all the information that I need available here. 
And all this is we, we sync with the machine. So you won't see unnecessary thousands of Windows updates. Only the updates that are applicable for your devices that you've installed on the uh, agent uh, on those devices uh, required patches would be visible here. And everything can be automated as well. So when you go under the policy and you, let's say you create a new policy, you can define if you want uh, the Windows updates to happen automatically at a scheduled time, uh, or if you want to keep it manual. So when you click on update now, only then it will install it. You can also uh, keep it completely scheduled. So the first one was semi-automatic where you can have some sort of automation and uh, a manual schedule as well. But uh, the third one is just completely pure schedule base. And then we also have things like version freeze. So if you don't want certain application updates to happen, you can freeze them to that version. So the machines would not take the updates. In terms of Windows updates, you can also say uh, if you want certain categories of updates to be automatically installed. So if I say critical updates, automatically installed. Security updates, yes, automatically installed. Definition updates, uh, maybe yes as well. But roll, update rollup, I can say install after 15 days. So I can kind of customize all of this. And the best part is once I customize this, automatically the workstations will continue to do what I've configured here. And I have additional options like I can allow users to snooze it, cancel the task, I can force the log off and so on. Similarly for the antivirus, if I enable the AV module, I can configure things for the AV, so I can define the firewall rules, I can define the network rules. All of this, I can do it in the policy interface and I can assign it to any computer. So these are, uh, you know, under the policy, I, there's a lot I can do, but right now I'm just going it over it on a very high level. Again, uh, as I said, if you have questions on our, uh, any of these features, you're welcome to put them into the chat. We will be going over them shortly. And in terms of the functionality, when, as I said, when we compare ourselves to other products, uh, since this, again, the other benefit that you would see is since we are cloud-based, you don't need to have any hardware investment. In, like, you know, you don't need to have a server. You don't need to have a, a console machine. Everything is virtual. Everything is cloud-based. So, and even if you don't have an infrastructure to do Windows updates in terms of, like, you know, you've got uh, work group based computers or you've got domain based computers, but you don't have an IT administrator who can configure WSS or who's, who does not have the experience for WSS. So, you know, to overcome all those challenges, to overcome all those issues in terms of costing, in terms of management, scalability, uh, our product really tops the line there. It simplifies the whole process. Uh, it's easy to use. We help you with getting started. Uh, there are detailed videos. We help you with, uh, you know, an onboarding session as well when you sign up for a product. So we are our engineers. They connect with you. We do the whole setup for you. And then uh, we also have uh, pro services where, you know, if you want us to do the whole end-to-end -end deployment for you, we do that as well. So with that being said, I just want to highlight a couple of more features of the product, which is app uh, OS deployment. So OS deployment allows you to install a full-fledged Windows operating system on your endpoint. So basically you can push uh, a Windows image on your devices from any location. You can automate the whole process and uh, you can see, you can define what should be the local uh, uh, date and time, what should be the organization name, what should be the currency format. If you want to create a user during installation, all of that can be defined here, and uh, you can even join it to a domain. And once you do that, uh, you can then uh, push the image on your devices. The imaging site uh, requires you to have a distribution point in your network because the images are heavy. So you need to set up a computer that can transfer your images to your endpoints. But once you've done that, uh, you don't need to do anything else. It will automatically uh, show you all the images that you've added onto it. You can even capture an image of a computer and push that image on other computers. And once you do that, you can then, uh, you know, you, you can then be assured that your golden image concept, that image that you've built, you want to push that, gets easily deployed on your machine 
and when it's getting deployed you can again automate a lot of things like you can select the install settings you can select the product key you can select the drivers uh, you can select uh, which apps should get installed after installation there are a lot of things which you can do and deploy uh, from the devices the next one is uh, antivirus we partially covered that but you can uh, i'll just go over it again so basically under antivirus you would see the status of your computer uh, if it's protected not protected uh, if you need to you know do a virus definition update what is the status of the firewall all that information that you need again as an administrator will be available to you on on the uh, you know in the cloud console right up front then uh, the next one is inventory this is quite an interesting module i really find this very useful a lot of our customers uh, have given you know extremely positive feedback around this so what inventory does is basically shows you uh, again the name of your computer the details of your computer uh, and, uh, and then uh, in addition to that it shows you the uh, details of the computer summary like you know if it's a part of a domain if it's part of a like a ad group which ou it is a part of which user has currently logged on uh, the when it was last updated what is the manufacturer so it administrators they end up you know maintaining excel sheets or they end up buying a third party product just to do inventory so we want to get rid of all those multiple subscriptions that you pay for uh, and give you one subscription that does everything that you you know you need as an IT uh, administrator or an organization to manage your IT estate. So here under inventory you see the manufacturer details, service tag, processor, uh, all the information about the hardware, and you also see the IP address and public IP. So if your employees are working from home and if you uh, want to keep a track of uh, you know your hardware devices, you can do that. You can see the MAC address details. Uh, you can see apps which are pending with updates. You can see Windows updates pending, and also the warranty information. So this is a, a manual fill right now. We are trying to automate it, work it uh, out with different vendors. But you can uh, define your warranty details, and then you can easily see which computers are running out of warranty and so on. And all these reports are filterable, drillable. So if you need to just select uh, computers which are under a single IP, you can do that. Uh, the the widgets or the grids would be filtered. You can see computers with uh, certain warranty information and so on. And then you can export it into a CSV as well. Uh, the the additional columns that you don't want to see, you can you know remove those columns. You can see a full screen view as well. So as I said at the start, like it's quite modern in terms of the UX, and it does a lot of things for you. So that's uh, under the inventory. One of the nicest part about the inventory is it connects with our analytics module. So uh, you can see view, uh, the applications installed on a device. So when I click on view install apps, I can see all the apps which are on the device. So if a user or an employee is uh, installing something that's unauthorized, you can easily see that. You can also see the usage of the apps. So what time, uh, you know, how much time a particular app is being used on which computer it is being used. Like for example, Microsoft Teams here, it was used for 16 hours and uh, some time uh, here it was used for uh, 19 hours uh, on one device. Last it was used on 26th May and so on. So all this information that you, is, that you need is available to you uh, in terms of different reports. And you can also do license management. So you can define uh, you know, what sort of licensing you have for every application in your list. And then based on that, we can tell you if you're over deployed, under deployed, do you have some free licenses? Do you need to buy more licenses and so on? So that's the analytics module. It has a lot of other reports. Uh, I won't really be going under each one, uh, but uh, again, like the trial has all the features enabled. It's a fully functional trial. So when you try it out on veronixdeploy.com, you will be accessing all, uh, all the features will be available to you. You don't need to, uh, you know, just have limited ac access. You'll have access to everything. And before we, you know, go into the final stage, uh, just the last feature I want to highlight is the ticket management. So basically, 
ticket management is like a help desk or a support thing that we've incorporated within the product. So when you enable ticketing in the module, I mean like in the product, the ticketing module, your users will see a form like this on their computer. And then from this page, they will have an option uh, or this form. So basically near the system clock or you know near the, the uh, taskbar, they'll see an icon and the icon will have a form. And then uh, they can submit issues from here. Uh, once you submit an issue, you can uh, you can easily uh, get an email uh, on your account, and you as an administrator will get notified on your email as well as under your tickets module. So here you can see uh, a ticket was created from this computer. This ID for the ticket was uh, two. It's open in, at the moment. Uh, the user name is this. Uh, email address is this and the description is this. So if they're having issues or if they need help or anything that they need, like if they need Microsoft Office on the computer or if they need help with the remote access. Uh, so you can instantly connect and help them. You can instantly install apps on them, on their computers, and you can see which IT administrator from your department worked on those tickets. So the whole idea again is to connect everything and give you one platform for your total IT needs. And all of this, all of what we've just seen is powered by a lot of you know, standardized enterprise features like site-based management. So if you have multiple locations, you can manage multiple locations from a single console. Uh, it's got uh, alerts and notifications. So if anything's not working, anything's failing, you'll get notified. It's got a log of audit log of who's doing what in terms of administrative efforts. So if someone is trying to restart a computer or shut it down, you will get to see that. Uh, then it has user management as well. So you can add multiple administrators. You can source your administrators or pull them from your SAML directory, or you can uh, add them manually. So basically you can define the name, email address of the administrator, and you can give them limited access to different modules as well. So, you know, it's extremely customizable, extremely useful in terms of all using with all these features. It gives you a lot of functionality to uh, play around and, and to set up the product in a way that can help you in your environment, that can benefit you with so many different features. So with that being said, I would like to uh, you know wrap up the uh, technical side of it. Uh, I, I hope uh, you know all these features have been, you found them quite useful. Again, just to repeat myself uh, for the trial, the URL is veronicsdeploy.com. You can sign up for a fully functional 30-day trial. And again, during the trial, if you need help, we have a, you know, a, a quite smart user guide where you can uh, navigate through different options. Uh, the product is also localized uh, in certain languages. So if you want to use in a different language, you can do that. And uh, support-wise, as you've uh, seen in the, during the slideshow, we've got support through uh, our Singapore office, uh, UK office, Canada as well. So you would have support coverage uh, in terms of uh, you know any other information you need. Our preferred partner, uh, Josh and his team, they are on this call. They will be more than happy to help you out with all other uh, commercial questions and uh, and other questions around the product. So thank you everyone for your time. Uh, and while I could uh, showcase the product, and yeah, I'll, I'll hand it over back to uh, you know our partner Josh and team. So thank you everyone. Thank you so much, Sir Usman, for that comprehensive talk about Pharonix Cloud Deploy and how you can leverage its capabilities to seamlessly manage workstations and other devices remotely. By the way, Sir Usman, we have few questions here on the chat box. Okay. You might Let want to address so our attendees then can um, check. Great. So mm -hmm. thank you. I yeah, I will go over it. Just give me one moment. Okay, so there are quite uh, a lot of question, uh, questions around the on-premise to cloud uh, uh, migration. So uh, it's to answer that question, it's quite straightforward. If you're planning to move from our on-premise solution to cloud, it's a two-step process where you just have to uninstall the old module and then you can install the new module. It can all be done centrally. So if you have the existing on-premise console, you can select all your computers, right-click, uninstall, 
And on the same computer, you can run the deployment utility, scan the network, and push it. So it's, it's again, straightforward. If you need our help or assistance during that uh, time, let us know, and we can help you with that. OK. Then we have uh, some questions. I think Esther has already answered them, so thank you, Esther, for handling that. In terms of uh, username protection, uh, basically we have two-step uh, authentication. So if you are worried about your administrative uh, username, uh, you can, uh, you know, you you can easily uh, be assured that uh, with two-step you you don't have to, you know, your user details would not be accessed. Uh, apart from that, the product is fully secure. Uh, and in terms of your employee or a workstation username, we don't capture anything like that. We don't have any personal information, so you don't have to worry about your users or employees' data or student data being on a server. There's no personal information captured. In terms of the security, uh, we are GDPR compliant in terms of the you know the European uh, um, data protection law, uh, as even mentioned by Josh. Uh, we make sure all you know all our components are completely secure. We, we are using Amazon Web Services, AWS, uh, to manage these servers. We also have uh, detailed documentation about how, our how we manage our servers, what sort of testing we do in terms of penetration testing. A uh, lot of you know, information is available. If you have any questions around that, uh, you're more than welcome to get in touch with us and we can share that information with you. OK, then. Uh, Um, so there's uh, an option. The last question is around ticketing module. Uh, if it can be customized, we have an. Uh, so in terms of customization, uh, we can see what sort of environment you have and uh, uh, what are your requirements. Uh, but yeah, it does not really have a lot of open customizations. But uh, we can certainly have a look and see. You know, if we can find a workaround to fit into your requirement. Uh, what I would recommend you to is after this webinar, maybe if you want, you can uh, you know reach out to our partners and they can arrange a call back with us and we can look into it further. OK, so I think that's all on the question side. Uh, mm -hmm. um, if, yeah, if you have more questions, we can ask. OK, this one question came in. Uh, regarding the images, uh, we have, uh, we support ISO files uh, for, installing straight away. Uh, in addition to ISO files, we also let you capture an image which is captured under a WIM format. So if you if you set up a computer and if you capture that image of that computer and then you deploy that image to other computers, that image would be in a WIM file format. OK. Thank you so much for that, Sir Usman. So for our attendees, you have further questions or clarifications, guys? Okay, I guess we've already answered all of the questions of our attendees. So, Sir Usman and uh, Miss Esther, you have anything else you wanted to cover before we wrap up? I think we, I've covered pretty much what I had to in terms of the functionality wise and the technical side. Again, uh, yes, yeah, if, if you have or if anyone needs more information, you know, uh, we'll be happy to help you out with the uh, onboarding part, with the uh, POC or a pilot, uh, and even post uh, deployments. So if you need help, we're always around to help you different uh, during different time zones. So just just let us know. And our products are quite stable, secure. I mean, D Free, as you might have seen, we've been selling it for 20, 25, more than twenty five years now, uh, and it's being used across so many big like institutions uh, departments and with deploy that's uh, our our goal is to reach out to customers who love our concept of our product range but they don't want to freeze the computers so deploy is for computers that uh, the users they don't want to freeze so you know you can have a combination of deep freeze and deploy in different departments so so that you can have full control and full management capabilities so that's all from my side, uh, uh, Sam. Thank you.